is chlorine really weak now i want to show you guys what my chlorine currently looks like i'm not gonna say she's the greatest chlorine of all time i'm certainly not having her best in slot weapon or whatever but yeah anyways 80 out of 90 2.1k attack 100 element mastery yeah i don't think it's the worst thing ever i don't have energy recharge which kind of sucks and uh yeah i'm using electro damage bonus and the weapon is harangabak futsu now this does give me a nice 12% elemental damage bonus and if I use other characters and then go to her uh, I'll be getting a normal attack damage increase. Obviously with her kit specifically you do need to have other characters. This is pretty much a must for her character because you get a bunch more attack for the more electro related reactions. So when you say hey he is literally a useless character by herself and she needs teammates well kind of and also not really, because her kit literally says that you need electro-related reaction. Unless the opponent is an elemental, like maybe a water elemental or whatever, and you can instantly get electro charge or something like that. Yeah, you're going to need some teammates. So, yeah, there's that. I needed to get that out of the way. And also you get a crit rate straight off the bat just from using her skill, which is really nice. You get 20%. I'm going to be maxing this out, okay? I have such good crit rate stats, and my crit damage stats are just, yeah, they're not there. But you know what? It's fine. I'm pretty much going to be wasting 20% crit rate, which is annoying because that's you know, 40 crit value that you know is basically gonna be through. But it's fine. I could switch the weapon in a bit and use like a different weapon. Maybe this weapon. Maybe I'll use uh, just straight up crit damage from Urena. Uh, yeah, for now, let's just see how this is going to play out. I'm using the Gladiator's Finale as my current artifact set. And I don't have her constellations activated or anything. She's C0. I am going to be making a video on C1 very soon. So you guys should stay tuned for that on my channel. So subscribe to the channel to stay uh, on my algorithm. Anyways, 488 are my talents. So she should deal a decent amount of damage of what you should expect from Chloe. Simple, we have a plan, let's just follow through it. Okay, so here we go. Do a little bit of this. I should wait a bit, but okay, there we go. Oh! Ow! Okay, this isn't going how I expected it to do. <laughs> but as you can see, you know what? the damage is not bad. Damage is not bad. Boom. 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 Okay, okay, relax, relax. Alright, okay, relax. Let's let's be chill here. Okay, boom. You know, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's actually not bad. It's just people see that she does, you know, 60%, 40%, 70%, or whatever this is, and they think, oh, she's not doing much. Okay, now this time I am going to be using Um everyone. So Toma, Shivers, everyone, everyone, everyone. Boom. That use this first, use this first, and then Toma, and then boom. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> she almost, yeah, yeah, insane. And then we can just use her burst. Almost one phase it. I mean, ah, it's okay. You know what I mean? It's okay. It's, it's not Bennett damage, but you know, it, it, it's fine. Let's chill it. Now we're using Bennett instead. Uh, I should have got some energy for this. Um, okay, anyways, using Bennett now. And. Here we go. Boom. And then using him using Thomas just, just for that little bit of, you know, damage bonus, right? Boom. And he applies, you know, Pyro a lot. I could use Shangling instead, but Shangling does damage. Look at that. Almost cleared. It did a little bit less damage. I mean, almost, almost identical to what Fischl was doing with it, right? So, oh, okay, don't die, don't die. But yeah, I mean, pretty good overall. Now, I'm going to be trying a team in which she would, you know, absolutely set this up. Then we can use Fischl, and then we pop this, and then we go crazy. Yeah, you know, you know. <laughs> I think it's pretty good. Okay, we almost, almost... Okay, here we go. 
do that. Do this. Do that. Pop this. Boom. There we go. Yeah. One faced. Boom. Done. <laughs> and we didn't even use the burst. And we didn't even use the burst. Okay. Granted, Nahida is popping off. Fish was popping off. Can do that. And pop this. And pop that. And pop this. And then go. <laughs> yeah, this is this is better. Come on, it's uh, it's much better. But at the end of the day, that was hyper blue. I'm not gonna say that was all current. <laughs> that was hyper blue. Let's be real. So, um, I think we pop you first. Okay, we got rid of the overload. Now we pop this. Okay, wait, that's not bad. It's not as good as Hyper Bloom, obviously. It's not bad. It's not bad. Come on. That was pretty good. We have to all with Nahida. It's fine. It's fine. Even though Nahida's all would probably help with, uh, with some of the stuff. But, you know, that was good. I feel like that was good. Anyways, that is going to be it for me. Hopefully, you guys got something out of it. If you did, subscribe to the channel, like the video. I think we can conclude safely that Clorin is pretty good. Like, okay, sure. She might need some teammates because her talent, you know, literally requires electro-related reactions. So, she's going to need teammates. So does every other character in the game. I'm not gonna say that she produces some sovereign novelette amount of damage, okay? She's no Hydro Dragon. I'll be, I'll be honest, she's not. She's not a Raiden Shogun, she's not something like that. But what I see is a character that has a lot of potential, that has a lot of damage, that has a spot. And she is so fun to use as well. But the thing is with this is that people only see the low amount of damage. It doesn't they don't they don't see the accumulative amount of damage that she does. And that is uh that is the whole point of this video. So that is it. Hopefully you guys something you know, you got something out of it. If you did, let me know in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video very soon.